Hey guys, welcome back to Rubik's Review, and today we are doing the last layer on the pyramids. We've already done the first layer, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. And now we're up to the last layer. So now for the last layer, what we want to do is get all of these edges to um, be fixed, and then that will solve the pyramids. And to start out, we just want to have two edges that are wrong. We just want to have two edges. But you see, we have three. We have one, two, three. We just want to have two. And to get, and just to get two, we're going to go like this. Start out any side. It doesn't really matter. I usually, I think it's better with one if you just have one on that side. So I say don't do it on this side because that has two that are wrong. Just do it on a side that has one. And what we're going to do is we're always going to start out with the left on this. Left down, right down, left up, right up. And then as you can see, we brought up a yellow, and the color of that is green and yellow, so we're gonna move it over to the green side so that we can't see the yellow and solve. We wanna get this edge down here. We're gonna move it up, bring this edge over, and then bring it back down. And as you can see, it actually did solve the cube, but I'm going to mix this up so you can see the final algorithm. Okay, so this is the final algorithm. And it's where we have two edges left, one like this and one like this. So, as you can see, this side's blue and this side's green. This corner is blue and green, except they're in the wrong way. We want to flip these. Same with this side, this side's red, this side's green, except this edge is red and this is green. So we want to flip those, too. And to do that, we're going to do an algorithm. This is the first algorithm that you're going to have, and this is the final alg algorithm that you're going to have, because then after this you'll be done with the cube. So now, the algorithm is left down, right down, left up, right up, like always. Now, you're going to hold the top of the roots, or the pyramids, and move it down like that. Then, you're going to do left up, right up, left down, right down. So it's very simple, and then you have a fully solved pyramid. So that is all you need to do to get a fully solved pyramid, and you just need to memorize that one algorithm at the end, which is left down, right down, left up, right up, and then left up, right down, or left up, right up, um, left down, right down. So it's very simple, and yeah, so that's all you need to do. It's a very simple puzzle to solve. It only has 100,000 combinations, which seems like a lot, but it really isn't compared to the 2x2 two two and the 3x3. Three three. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.